go. Hello, hello everybody. Hello, great to see me on a Sunday, I know. Hello, I haven't done a Sunday stream in a while. It's been a hot minute. Hello, mystery. Hello, mystery. Long time no see. How are you doing? How are you doing, my love? Alrighty, let's not waste any time. You missed this face. Oh, oh. I've not been anywhere. I've not gone anywhere. Well, that's not true, actually. I have had several weeks off over the last couple months. Um, just simply because of... Well, when I say the last couple of months, I mean like the last month or two. Uh, just simply because I've been busy uh, with work and health and I've not been here for <laughs> a lot of it. I've been on holiday uh, for the last... Well, I was on holiday last week. Um, as in, week for this week, just gone. It's always weird saying last week on a Sunday. I don't... I, because people have different ideas of when like the weeks begin and end. Some people classify the week as just being like Saturday through to following Saturday. Some people think it's Sunday through to the following Sunday. Some mad fuckers think it ends on a Friday. But it's not. Because it's literally called the week end. Because it's when the week ends. <laughs> uh, was it a good holiday? It was. It was a good holiday. Thank you. Didn't do much. Didn't do much. Um, spent half the week at Rosie's. She spent half the week here. Um, and yeah, basically just had a week. Just quiet week. Just, just me and her. Just to get away from everything else. Namely, work and this for me. Um, well, that and D and D, but that was less so. Less so, because D and D is my stress reliever night. I suppose that and Friday. <laughs> Friday is the one night. Friday is like the only day where I don't do anything. Most most nights. Um, most weeks, like Friday is my night, where I'm just like, nope, nothing else, that is my night. Unless I spend it with her, or unless I decide to do like an impromptu stream or whatever, but I usually use that just as my opportunity to catch up on like TV and stuff. Uh, I got the date for the big move, ooh, ooh. Ooh. Oh yeah, of course. I'm assuming that you're moving to uh, Blackpool, isn't it? Cool. That's not actually that far from me, I don't think. How far is it for me to go to get to Blackpool? <laughs> to Google Maps we go! Let's have a look. Where's Google Maps gone? What the fuck is Google Maps? I've got some new minis as well. I've got some new minis. Uh, I believe I posted about them in my Discord. I think I did. I haven't posted the painted versions yet because they're not done. They've not even been primed yet. I've been waiting for a break in the weather when I'm not working. So... No, I didn't. I didn't post about them. I thought I had. Oh god, the last thing I posted was the base coat of Green Goblin, who is now done, so... Yeah, that's been a while. Oh, you're moving to Basingstoke. I know where Basingstoke is. How do you get to Google Maps through from the Google homepage? Why isn't there just an option to go to Google Maps? I swear there should be. There should be. Maps. Ooh, call the maps. Here we go. We want a uh, bears in stock. Um, b -b 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 directions from my current location. It is an hour and fifty seven minute drive. Uh, 
Okay. Okay. So it's just a little bit further on from um, Bristol. Interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. Google Google Maps. Yeah, I know. I know. It's weird that there's not an option. I'm assuming that it's because I'm actually like on the Google homepage. I'm looking for like Google Earth to get up the maps. Anyway, let's close out of Steam. We don't need Steam. We don't need Steam open. No, no, no. No, no, no. Because we're not doing Final Fantasy tonight. We're doing Baldur's Gate. Because I like Baldur's Gate. It's up there with my favourites. Let's jump on over to the Baldur's Gate overlay. Also, for those who missed the streams last week, um, I don't know how well the quality of the video is, but I'm assuming it's all right because, and this was the only way I could get around the whole frame drop in thing. I just cut the f actual frames of the stream in half because beforehand we're streaming at 60 frames per second. And for some reason, OBS, either OBS or the computer has decided that it didn't like that anymore. So I don't know what's caused that. Um, because it worked fine for that part of the year. So now we're streaming at 30 frames per second. So. But looking at it. The quality is still mostly the same. It's just you know. The frames aren't as high. I am here. We don't have as high a frame count. We're not, we're not getting that sick. 1080p 60 frames per second stream. But I mean. To, to be honest, I'd rather, I'd rather that, I'd rather only stream at 30 FPS as opposed to the state that the streams were in before, because th they were horrid. They were horrid for you guys, what, looking back. They were absolutely unwatchable, and I kind of regret doing basically all of Heaven's Ward like that. I don't know what caused it, it worked fine one week, and then the next week it was like, nah, fuck you. <laughs> Just, just. Just fuck you and fuck your audience. What little audience I have. <laughs> Love you all. <laughs> I love each and every one of you. And I appreciate all of you taking the time out to watch whatever the fuck this is. Ooh, a squirrel. And a bunny rabbit. Look at that rabbit. Look at that. That is a very, very, very 90s rabbit model, ain't it? Look at him. Look at him. Let's just take a moment to appreciate the the, the character models close up because we never really get to see these very often because I normally spend most of the game out here like this so I can see all of the map. Anyway, what are we doing today? Well, we are continuing the main story. We are going into the underground. Once again, into the underdark. Yay! Haven't haven't been in the underdog since Baldur's Gate 3. Actually, since we streamed Baldur's Gate 3, the first week I ever streamed on here. Outside of weird random streams that I used to do um, at uni. Uh, like my attempt, my early attempts at streaming D&D. Back when I had no idea what the hell I was doing with Twitch. And no one watched them. And... Uh oh. Just just keep walking, Khalid. Just just keep walking. Ignore the bear. Ignore the bear. Ben's current obsession is Skylanders and he got me buying them for him when when I'm out. Oh my god, Skylanders. That's a thing I've not heard in a long time. My little brother used to be absolutely obsessed with Skylanders. I never really saw the appeal. I'm going to be completely honest. I never really saw the appeal of the whole games to life thing. I probably would have if I, when I was, like, if they'd come out when I was, like, I don't know, six, I probably would have been all over that shit. But as it was when they actually came out, like Skylanders and Disney Infinity and even Amiibo. Like, out of all of them, Amiibo. Oh, hello. 
But yeah, out of all of them, Amiibo were probably, like, the best in terms of, like, the models. But I've just never bought any. Because <laughs> they're ridiculously expensive, like most Nintendo things. By the way, the fact that some, that most shops still charge fucking 60 or quid for Breath of the Wild is fucking ridiculous. Because that game is almost 10 years old now. Does anyone else feel very old with that statement? Because I sure as hell do. <laughs> Just knowing that Breath of the Wild and like Super, Ma Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is like 10 years old. Oh, I don't like that. What is it? It must be. Aha, uh -huh, not quite. Is it not? I thought it was. It's probably been 10 years since it was first announced. Breath of the Wild. Was released in 2017. We've been on a hunt for a Nintendo 64. There's actually one in my local, like, old gaming shop. Like, pre-owned gaming and stuff shop. There's some really cool shit in that shop as well. There's, like, a... They have, like, a whole back section where it's just all, like, old memorabilia. And there's a load of, like, really old Star Wars action figures. Really, really, really cool. Really cool. There's just a bunch of Warhammer shit. Hello. Hello, Gurgle and Floss. I'm assuming that you're a troglodyte. From the looks of it. You might be a troglodyte. I mean, that's obviously a Sahagan. So this is... I... No. This is a... Um, what are the frog people? What are the frogs called? Not Banderhobs. Banderhobs are the big frog demons. Um, what are the frog people? Bear with me. I need to find the frog people. In my old ass book. I thought they were a really recent addition to D&D. I don't remember the frog people. I've never really used the frog people. Bullywugs! That's what they're called. I don't even need to look them up. I've remembered. Bullywugs. Bullywugs. I have used them because they're in Rise of Tia, Matt. No, no. They're in Hall of the Dragon Queen. They're in Tyranny of Dragons. It's the same thing. Uh, I've had to start my Christmas shopping. I've... I'm about to buy one, I'm about to buy the first present. I'm going to buy my, um, I'm going to buy Rosie's mum something from our work. I'm going to buy a little garden ornament just because we're selling out of them. Uh, so I'm going to pick up one because last I checked there was only like two in. So I'm, I'm going to pick one up. It's like a little robin. Many already has one or two gifts for me. I have got nothing for Rosie. <laughs> I know what she wants. I know what she wants. But I've not bought her anything yet. Mm, how would a frog sound? I know that's a Hagen's talk. I need to think how the frogs speak. Molly Wong. Ribbit. Ribbit. There it is. Ribbit. This is our place now, Crusader. Go back. Go back. Hmm. I'm afraid I can't do that. You got her. You can't stay here. Go back now, you dolly girl slacker. Ribbit. Oh, it is a Sahagan. They're both Sahagans. I thought that was a Bullywug. Looks like a Bullywug. It says he normally goes over the top at Christmas for partners, but then his past couple of relationships have had a last since Christmas and New Year period. Been there. Been there. I've had it where I spent like 
two hundred odd quid on someone at Christmas and then uh, broke up in January. That felt good. <clears throat> hmm. Look, powerful people don't want you here. If you don't leave and soon they'll come in, and, uh, force and remove you and perhaps kill you. And you don't want that. Powerful people? What powerful people? What are they gonna do? Tell us! Tell us what's out there. Tell us now. Hmm. It's, it's too horrible to comprehend. Uh, I can't speak of it. Mustn't even think of it, for fear of losing my mind to the eternal abyss. Tell us what's out there. No, my fishy friends, I cannot. I will not subject you to the unspeakable horror that lurks beyond yon door. For your sake, you must remain here. Don't go out there. Not if you value your sanity. I want to see it. Well, good luck. Good luck, lads. Good luck. Just gonna enjoy this. Oh, that one's attacking me. He's not attacking me anymore. <laughs> I dealt with the Sahagan blocking my path. <laughs> yes. Yes, I did. Um... Told him I'm not going anywhere, and, I'll first, and for our first, please don't go over the top. See, did me and Rosie go over the top last year? Not really. We didn't go massively over the top. I've also had a poorly puppy. Oh no! Oh, and now I'm sad. Now you put the mood of the entire stream down, mystery. Why? What's been wrong with the pup pup? What's, what's been wrong? What's been wrong with her? I'm assuming it's the one we all know and love, correct? I don't think you have a new one. A new IL one, anyway. <gasps> Mystery store. I don't remember if we've done down here before. Oh, for God's sake, why more spider? What the hell? Uh oh. <laughs> Good. That's not good at all. <laughs> oh, this could go very badly, very, very, very quickly. Oh my god, Khalid! Um Certainly. Let's let's everybody go Oh for fuck's sake Khalid I guess we're dealing with those Sahagans again Indeed Okay we'll just very quickly go deal with those Sahagans and we'll save again. Need to remember to do that. We're back because your PC crashed. Ah that old chestnut. Welcome back. Welcome back. You didn't miss much. 
Didn't hear what you said about you and Rosie's first Christmas. Um, I was just saying that we um. I don't remember what it was that we did in terms of like presents and stuff and whether or not we went over the top. You might want to run away. I don't think we did. But there yeah, that's coming from me, so Time to end you. I genuinely do not know. It's um I wonder how well those Sahagans would do if I just left them to it. Oh, that poor, poor Crusader is just going to slowly die from the poison. Oh, the poison's worn off and they were near death. That's very, very, very annoying. <laughs> it's like, ooh, loot. Was my thought process. Won't be working for a while, so I can't afford it, so I'd feel guilty if he spent a lot. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's the boat that me and Rosie are in this year. I've told her not to go. She did go a little bit mental with both Christmas and my birthday this year. Uh, it didn't help that she uh, her job went under right after my birthday. So I felt very guilty about that. Though I can see in the dark, I still prefer the surface. Alright, let's deal with some of these trends. None of them died. Yes. That's ever so slightly annoying. Do it again, please. Do it again, please. Ah, fuck you, tree. Aha. <laughs> Something's been blessed. Uh oh. Yes, indeed. Everybody back away, everybody back away, everybody back away, 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 back away. Uh oh. Ha! Pathetic. Uh oh. She has bested you already and you know it not. Oh no. Buried beneath the dirt while she prepares for victory far above. Is this your grand plan? I had hoped for more from one of your lineage. Please go away, John! Please, John! Leave me alone! Um, hmm. Hmm. Well, defeating Kayla will take more. Will take the efforts of more than any one woman, no matter how powerful she may be. I'm comfortable with the role I play. Ultimately, we will stand triumphant. All have a part to play. It is true. But Please go away, John. Center stage and command the respect you are due, or fade into the background, another anonymous player whose name will be lost to history. John, please. Your army has grown fat with purpose, courageous and utterly devoted to their cause. Hooray! What reason have you to be here, child of Baal? What is it that has driven you to such inglorious confines? Hmm. Why would I tell you that? What's your purpose here? You should be in the next game. I seek someone with the potential I require to move forward. Mm. I've found two candidates. Do I choose the child of light or the child of death? Which of you is worthy? 
I don't want you to choose me. Choose her. I know what you're planning. So please, kindly, fuck right off. Go away. I don't... I, I do like him. I do like him. He's one of my favourite villains in all of D&D. Strahd can suck it. But... That's a joke. I do like Strahd. But... This guy. This guy terrifies me. He is terrifying. <laughs> we get to spend a lot of time with him at Baldur's Gate too. Yay! <laughs> um... Hmm. What do you know that I don't? There are many forces at play, more than you realize, and there is much at stake. We must protect the lions. And here we see the noble lion. Dragon Spear Castle <laughs> offers more to you than an opportunity for reconnaissance and sabotage. There you may spy the snake that nestles in Kalar's bosom. Use the gifts you have, and you may learn more about the threat you truly face. I mean, I'm guessing that it's... It's not so much that Kalar is the villain. I don't think Kalar is the villain. I feel like Kalar might actually be good. And is... I feel like Kalar is lawful stupid. Where... She's lawful good, but she's lawful good to a fault, and which leads to, like, doing evil, but in the name of good. So it kind of works out. Where she's like, this crusade is like, it's so over the top that it's, it feels, it feels like this is almost like a nod to the fact that paladins in AD&D were so common. Lawful stupid. To the to the point where you were considered to be a dick if you played Paladin in AD and D. Because they had such a bad reputation because Because of the fact that they were so often lawful stupid. Hello, Babs. Hello. Hello. How are you? Are you well? I need the elixir. Oh, I need something better than the elixir of health. I need a potion of extra healing. Send it to the backpack and send it to Minsk. Minsk! Drink the potion, please. Fuck! Oh, no. That means I have to talk to Arenicus again. I am here. It means I have to talk to Jonathan. Certainly. I don't want to have to talk to Jonathan again. Thy oh, yeah, I just completely spoiled his identity. Didn't I? Completely by accident. Oh, I mean, if you have not played... I shall. If you've not played Baldur's Gate 2, then... The fact that he's who he is, that like, means absolutely nothing. He's just, you know, hooded man currently, but he does have a name. Your concern? If you have played Baldur's Gate 2 and haven't realised who he is, then... Yes? That's who he is. <laughs> It's the same voice actor. It's the same voice actor and everything. Thank you. Yes. Nature's servant away. Because I accidentally spoiled it for myself by double checking if it was indeed the same voice actor. And yeah, it, it is. Ha! My aim is true. Your orders. And. You know, if anyone has played. I am here. Baldur's Gate 2, then you guys know that I'm right to be absolutely terrified about the fact that he's yes? he's here. 
and to be extraordinarily concerned about that as well. Hello again. She has bested you already and you know it not. I just want to listen to the voice acting again because the dirt while she prepares for He's great. <laughs> Is this your grand plan? I had hoped for more from one of your lineage. One of the best D and D villains to ever exist in the canon. Ultimately we Defeating Kayla will take more, the efforts of more than any one woman, no matter how powerful she may be. I'm comfortable with the role I play, and ultimately we will stand triumphant. All have a part to play, it is true. But will you stand centre stage and command the respect you are due? Or fade into the background another anonymous player whose name will be lost to history? Your army has grown fat with purpose, courageous and utterly devoted to their cause. What reason have you to be here, child of Baal? What is it that has driven you to such inglorious confines? And why would I tell you that? What's your purpose here? I seek someone with the potential I require to move forward. I have found two candidates. Do I choose the child of light or the child of death? Which of you is worthy? Again, I know that he's gonna pick me because Baldur's Gate 2 needs to happen. I don't want him to, though. <laughs> what do you know that I don't? There are many forces at play, more than you realize, and there is much at stake. Dragon Spear Castle offers more to you than an opportunity for reconnaissance and sabotage. <laughs> there you may spy the snake that nestles in Kalar. What is the wizard's name? And you may learn more about the threat you've truly faced. The really fucking creepy wizard dude who. Who, re who feels like he's very, very, very evil. Twitch just made me watch nine adverts to see you. Where? <laughs> Shouldn't have. Your concern? Twitch, what are you doing? Why was it so many? I don't know. I don't know. I hadn't told it to run an ad break. Oh, what is this? Oh, yeah, they changed how ads work, haven't they? How? Ah, ad manager. Here we go. At that. La la la, yep. Yep. Oh. Right, so I can click a button to run a three minute ad. I don't know why it made you watch nine adverts, unless they were all like 30 seconds long. Apparently I have no adverts scheduled. It is saying that they are three minutes long, so if we set it down to a minute, that'll probably be better. There you go, 
that's better. That's better. That's probably why I'm assuming, because I'm I'm assuming it's a matter that they were was nine that they were, all, but they were all roughly thirty seconds each. Does that add up? I'm not sure if that adds up to being three minutes long. I don't know why it would have done f all of that. Also, I should only do it about after an hour that I've been streaming, and I've only been streaming for 30 minutes. So I don't know why that's the case. There will be a three minute ad break at some point in the next like 20 minutes, I guess. I'm assuming. I don't know, I don't, I don't know how I'm going to know about that. Because it's saying that it's going to notify me, but I don't have it open on the um, actual Twitch page. I keep, I monitor it via Streamlabs. So I don't know. I don't know. And now the thing has gone. <laughs> hmm. well, I'm assuming that if I have it open on the thing I can monitor it through that. I'm assuming that's the case. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Well hopefully hopefully it's not a matter that it's like just terrible. Terrible. I do have a button to auto run an ad break. So I can do that when I need to get another drink, which will be soon. Oh no, I do still have some tea left. It's probably cold now though, because it is like an, it is like 40 minutes long. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was a bit cold, that was. Okay. Yeah, because now my chat's like really small in the corner. Need it. Need it bigger. Need it bigger. I want it over there so I can actually like see it. All right, let's. That's somewhat better. That's somewhat better. All right. All right. Yes. All right. What is this? A dwarven warrior hewn from solid stone stands eternally watchful, guarding the what massive doors. What was beyond him? It is done. Oh, I see. You must gather your party before the yes, I'm doing that. You silly, silly thing. Oh, yeah, it's this place. I have done this place. Indeed. Oh, yeah, this is this is where my dragon friend was. This took a while, cause, cause we had to get Dragon Friend, but we got Dragon Friend, so I'm assuming Dragon Friend will come in and help at some point later. You must gather your party before venturing forth. I hope Dragon Friend comes in and helps us later. This is very quickly safe. 
Just so we don't have to do the chat with old Johnny Boy again. What was that? What have we... What? Oh, it's fucking plant growth. Back up, 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 back up. Why does it say enemy sighted? Who's... Wonder, Pumpkin, Ruby and Luna missed me, but they miss you too. Of course they miss me as well. They miss me more than they miss you. They tell me so. <laughs> they tell me they love me more than they love you. <laughs> Angel Tigress cheers. X one. Oh, thank you, babe. Thank you very much for the bit. Thank you for the penny. <laughs> ha! Fuck you, bat. I am here. Indeed. Fuck that bat. Probably could have talked to those guys, but I don't want to. I don't trust them in the slightest. So I'm just going to throw a fireball in their face. Unfortunately, because of the fact they're druids, that makes them immune to magic, apparently. Damn it, bastards. Where is it? Oh! Oh, it wasn't that it was... Like, oh, it wants to fight them. It was... It was a kick. We could have been killed in the time it took you to slay that monster. We'll ignore the fact that I throw a fireball at them as well. <laughs> I panicked. <laughs> Look, what can I say? I'm I'm jumpy. <laughs> I'm, I'm jumpy, I'm sorry. Kalit, they don't talk like us on the surface, remember? Who are these two? Are we to speak like surface dwellers now? I suppose on the surface they would offer thanks. How tiresome. Very well. Thank you for saving us. I already don't regret throwing a fireball at them. You're relatively alright. Are these drow? Actually, you're welcome. Why did you save us? You must expect something in return. Again, I'm sorry about throwing the fireball at you guys. I'm glad you were just skipping over that. Because I definitely hit you with it. Oh, just glad I was able to help. Be on your way now. Let's get out of here. Did you are you not gonna give me anything? Who the fuck were those two? Why did they have magic resistance? Are they important? They went this way. Oh no. <gasps> Oh, it's another fucking spider! Who are you, friend or foe? Not now, my dying friend. Not now. I'll deal with you later. Ah, <laughs> uh, haven't decided yet. What's your story? Minsk, they're the enemy, my dude. Exploring the caverns, we... We stumbled into this deadly mold. Skin softened, bubbled. We can't move, only lie here and wait for death's release. Okay. I, I will do that. I can do that. Why is sad ghost? Why 
Also, why does he have a little, like... Finger gun. What's that about? Where, where does... Where does... Where does Sid have a finger gun? I don't remember giving Sid a finger gun. He shouldn't have a finger gun. Sad ghost TK. What that mean? Because he shouldn't have a finger gun. He should just be like that. Use my points to edit it temporarily. You can do that! Modify a single em- Oh, you can! <laughs> I didn't know you could do that! Huh. That's interesting. <laughs> Just, I didn't even know I could do that. Yeah, but only four options on the farm is the only one worth doing. Yeah, it doesn't quite work with him, is the issue. Alright, I will... Hmm. I might, I might get rid of that one. <laughs> Just... Yeah, I might get, I might get rid of it. <laughs> Anywho, back to the game. Back to the game. Back to the game. Anywho, explore the caverns. We are. I stumbled into this deadly vault. Skin softened. Bubbled. We can't move. I only lie here. Wait for death's release. That sounded very weird with the with the in-game battle music going. <laughs> sounded very weird with that. Also, that was very well timed. Well done, babe. I'm proud of you. <laughs> hmm. Don't be so quick to resign yourself to your fate. I'm here now. What can I do to help? Oh, can you help? You can't even stand. This sickness has already killed two of my soldiers. Hmm. My friend here is versed in the art of healing. Jehera, would you examine him? Fungus caused his infection. Healing it is beyond my skill. A brew of fungal growths might help, but it would take time to determine the proper ingredients. Too much time, I fear. I love how the spider is just waiting. <laughs> it's just like, oh, you guys are busy. Okay, I'll, I'll, just, I'll just stand here. And, and wait. If in your troubles, you should, by some miracle, find a remedy for our affliction. I will be forever in your debt. Oh, farewell. Ha, oh, there was also some fucking tree people. Trees. Murderous trees. I mean, that's murder. The murderous trees are trying to murder me. We must murder them instead. Redeemed, pick a game for me. What game? What's the game, babe? Yes, oh, omnipresent authority. What am I adding to my list?
God, these things hit like a fucking truck and I hate them. Oh yeah! <laughs> I keep forgetting about the effect of Corrin's new bow where it's like, oh yeah, shit, it just casts Cloak of Fear on her. Which is kind of insane. Every time she shoots, this is the chance that she casts Cloak of Fear. And Cloak of Fear is very good. But yeah, what's what's the game, babe? What's the game? You, when you redeem that, when you redeem that one, you have to pick a game for me to stream. Animal Crossing or Sims or Lego or PS One Harry Potter. Your concern. You have to pick one. <laughs> You have to pick one. Um, I don't. <laughs> hmm. I don't really want to do Harry Potter. As much as I think it would be fun, as fun as funny as I think it would be, I. And I know, I know that like my small ass following will do absolutely nothing about it I do not feel comfortable giving giving any publicity to JK Rowling because fuck that woman <laughs> if anyone if, if you said deference to her and stuff then you know fuck her, fuck you too but I feel like I've given JK Rowling enough of my money in my life and I I do not agree with any of the stuff that she's said over the last couple years and it made me feel very uncomfortable streaming it because there's no real way that I could get away from talking about it while streaming it and I don't want that stuff on my I don't want to have to deal with that stuff on my channel if that makes sense. Hello. But yeah, that's why I'm not going to be streaming the new Harry Potter game when it comes out. I'm not doing Hogwarts Legacy. I'm not even going to buy Hogwarts Legacy for that very reason. A fungal creature slides slightly back and forth. Okay, bye. And all the others, all the others though, like Animal Crossing, Sims, and Lego. All fine, all fine and all good, all fine and all good. I've actually been planning to do most of that stuff. I actually have a bit of an idea for doing The Sims. It would probably be Sims 3 if I, when I eventually do a Sims, but I do want to do Lego. I do want to do the Lego games. Lego games are definitely on my list. Yeah. All good suggestions, but I just do not want to have to deal with the whole Harry Potter thing. Oh. I thought we'd never get back up. Sure is good to see the surface again. Oh my god, what is this voice? <laughs> Who are you? What you want, Master Gnome? Bert Neblin, actually. And what I want is to show you the benefits of a well-stocked potion bandolier. Okay. Call me Belagulp. And here's my partner, the Kong Cofter. We can brew you up any sort of potion you like for a price. Good to me, Mellow Gulp. Let's see what you've got in stock. Quality and potency guaranteed. Oh my god, yeah, they just basically do every single type of potion in the game. I have magic chain. Where the fuck did the magic chain mail come from? They do infinite potions of healing. 
How much for all of their potions of extra healing? I could afford that. I will take all of your potions of extra healing. I will also take all three of your potions of frost giant strength. And your potion of cloud giant strength. And I'll yes. do me. Thank you, Balagulp. Thank you very much, Balagulp. You are lovely. You're a lovely, lovely, lovely gentleman. In fact, actually, babe, if you if you are still in the chat, Rosie, we I've actually got a new thing to add to the list. Um, you know that film that we watched earlier, the um, the Discworld film. You know how I mentioned there's a PS One game about it. And? I kind of, I kind of want to do that at some point in the future. So, Discworld is going on the list. All three of them. There's an entire trilogy of them. There's a trilogy of point-and-click games. And it's about Rincewind. Rincewind is the character in them that you play as. And he's voiced by Eric Idle! <laughs> thought it was a board game. Oh yeah, there's board games based off of Discworld as well. And the RPG that I showed you. Fuck you! <laughs> oh no, Corin is... Paralyzed. No! My most powerful character who never misses. So long as she's using a bow. Which, you know, it's just ever so slightly broken. I like the fact that I can just. Begin fights by fireballing <laughs> into the room. Fuck him. Yay, we win! Oh, and another one. There we go, job done. Um, Corin, how are you doing in terms of ammo? Really not well. Yes. Ooh, there's another one. Oh my god! What the fuck is that? Off to us here in a bit. All right, babes. Certainly. Hope you're okay. Oh no! <laughs> Had the. Though I can see in the d d dark. Hello. I still prefer the surface. Dwarves! The monster returns. You'll not defeat us, you foul breathed. Oh, you foul breathed off. I said foul breathed like it was some like that was an actual sentence. No. Hmm. I think you have confused with someone else, friend. I'm hardly a monster. What's your name? Uh oh. This is a mistake. Calm yourself. 
Please. Mean you no harm. Promise you. Attack! Kill it! No. God's sake. It's over 9,000! Yay! 9, There's no way that can be right! Dragon Ball Z! <laughs> Dragon Ball Z memes. Hmm. No, don't kill it. Talk to it. You'll find it's quite a co gifted conversationalist if you just give it the chance. Oh, there's about to run an ad. Hold! The creature speaks like a living dwarf. Hang on, hang on, let me, let me hold tab. Thank you again. Right, okay. If we're uh, about to run adverts, um, then I am actually going to jump on over to my um, break overlay and go grab another drink as uh, see a uh, hydrate has just been requested I don't have a drink at the moment oh, my mug is empty so I will go and grab another drink so Twitch is going to run some ads I guess I don't know I don't know how long they're going to last for but yeah, yeah. You know, I will be back here in a little bit so yeah, how, how do I make the ads run? Is an ad currently running? I don't know. Okay, so ad runs in two minutes and 31 seconds. All right, all right, all right. I'm gonna hit run ad and then jump on over to my break overlay. Okay, I'm assuming the ad is finished because it says that the ad is done on the ad manager. So I'm assuming, I'm assuming that wouldn't lie to me. I'm hoping it wouldn't lie to me anyway, but we will see. We will see, because I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not used to actually like 
playing adverts and stuff like that on these on these streams. It's it's odd. It feels odd. It feels very odd. Ah, I can. I'm not used to using like the stream manager either. I don't. I don't normally do stream manager. I normally just have it on us uh, on OBS, and then I just have the stream open in like the background. This is like the first time I've actually run the stream using the stream manager. I probably should just do that in general. Let's be honest. Like I can do all sorts of here. I can raid channels. I can. Useful because <laughs> there's stuff that I there's like options that I have that I can't see, and it's all over the fucking shop. Uh, actually, that quick action thing would actually probably be more useful than that. So that way, I can actually like see my stuff. Yes. Oh no, I deleted the chat. <laughs> I'm not used to this! Wait, hang on, where did all the chat go? Where did the chat go? <gasps> um. Right, okay. Oh! It's gone weird. That's not useful to me at all. <laughs> That's really not useful. They're all like the requests and like point spending and stuff has disappeared from, from the chat over in the stream manager. How do I get that back? Let me just. Okay. Okay, it's working now. Right, okay. Okay, right. I'm going to drink my drink. There we go. Alright, well, so that's the hydrate. That's that hydrate done. <coughs> okay. Okay, right. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing with that. <laughs> Mew. Anywho, let's let's jump back on over to the Baldur's Gate over there. Let's reopen up the thing and go. All right, so we're back in the game. Hold! The creature speaks like a living dwarf. Oh, I mean, I am. <laughs> For good reason, I assure you. Can you understand me now? If so, tell me who you were in life. What brought you to this unfortunate circumstance? Stones fell around us. The screams of the dying filled our ears. We ran, seeking safety. Wings beat in the air. There was fire. I smelled burning flesh. A 
stone cut me as a wall collapsed. Oh my god, did these guys actually have the rocks fall when everyone dies? <laughs> Happened to them. Oh, you poor bastards. You had a mean DM. Was this an earthquake? A battle? I do not remember. It was so long ago. So long. We found ourselves in a dark place. I remember linking arms so we wouldn't lose each other. When we saw the glow of the fungus, we made our way toward it. Okay, go on. Another creature was attacked by the glow. A two-headed giant with a club as big as a man. It attacked without pre provocation. We defended ourselves. But killing the monster cost us our lives. Have you been here ever since? We wander this place endlessly now, unable to find our path to the Fugue Plain. These caverns all look the same to our dead eyes. Can you help us? So in other words, no. They didn't get the rocks fall, everyone dies treatment. They just got fucked up by an Etin. <laughs> I will help you any way I can. Our remains lay at your feet. If you find a way to reach the Fugue Plain, put what's left of us upon the path that we may pass on. Okay. I mean... If I should come across a portal to the afterlife, sure, why not? You have our thanks. Fare be well. I'm guessing at some point in this DLC, I'm going to the Fugue Plane then. So, it's, it's a likely possibility. <laughs> what? Uh, who's got the bag of holding currently? Jehera does. Ah, it's the Etin! The two skulls atop this massive skeleton's shoulders identify the remains as those of an Etin. Oh. The den of stinking evil. Actually, this evil is not as smelly as it usually is. We come for you anyway. Well, scrubbed evil. I like that line. <laughs> <laughs> that line makes me laugh. I am also, of course, taking all of their possessions for myself. And by for myself, I mean because money. Into the bag of holding you go. She can have some more ammo. Dinah here can have some ones. I have dropped it. Dinah here. Hmm. How does she have so much more ammo than than Corin does? Right. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that when we rest, it will fix Bronora's issue. You're concerned? Yes. It has not. Oh, good. That time it did. By called. Mage armor goes back under Dinah here. And we live. What was that? <laughs> oh no. Why? Why creepy noises? 
indeed. Didn't like that. Did not like that at all. It was creepy. What's going to be around the next bend? So was I supposed to take some sandbags or something to a box by the river? Why the creepy noises? Was there a box over by the river? Down, down, down by the river. That's a bonus gig. Oh! There we go. On the reveal details option on. I like to have that option on. Because it makes it so much easier. <laughs> At least I don't have to click around everywhere. What's up here? Hello? What the fuck is going on over here then? What you doing? Forgive me if I lack the time for conversation, fellow crusader. I'm uh, in the middle of a delicate ritual. What you doing? I gather you're an arcanist of some sort. What you doing? I'm binding water elementals from this river. They're creatures of pure water that will serve me as I do Kalar's work on the battlefield. <laughs> With their power, the crusade success is assured. <laughs> I hate this guy's voice and I kind of want to kill him because of it. <laughs> now do your bidding. Willingly or unwillingly. Oh, willing, unwilling, what does it matter? Better these creatures die than Kalar's worthy servants. I hate him. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm glad you approve. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've work to do. Fare thee well. I need to decide if I want to kill Strunk or the Elementals. Watch for ancient tomes or any scrolls that might contain lost arcana. Dun 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 Wait. Move along, guys. Just, just keep on walking. Thank you. Kill him! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you jammy little bastard. You sneaky fuck nugget! Oh, I didn't want to have to kill the elementals! Yes. Oh well! <laughs> Let's kill him then. Fight if you must, but you're not winning this. Yes, O oh omnipresent authority figure. Yes? To battle! Ow. I'm guessing that, like. I'm looking forward to this. Ow. Oh, a magic dagger! Gimme, gimme, gimme! Hello! 
What have you done? Where is Rish... Rish Tishar? Okay, if you're referring to one of the War of Elementals... Kinda dead. Th let me explain. Let me explain. These waters... They ripple with violence and death. You have done this. It's the wizard's fault. He's the one who was trying to enslave your friends. I shall visit death upon you. As you did fit for my friend, Risht Rishtvitar. Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> Holy fuck, it's an iron stone. Your concern. Strunk is dead and will no longer assist the crusade. I'm assuming that has some sort of bearing later on. I don't know. It might do. Maybe. We come for you anyway, well, scrub devil. Uh oh. <laughs> no, I'm good, fam. Yay! Did it. <laughs> What's going on over here then? Oh, it's a fine day for new friends. We've got company. Oh, mercenary. Come, have a drink with us. God, Spence, I told you what happened the last time one of the Cell Swords joined us. Yeah, you told me. Still don't believe it. What happened? It was a mercenary named Farius. You know him? No great loss if you don't. I've dropped a vial of fire breath potion in this pot. Count the was more miraculous. But that didn't kill him, or that brass breaker didn't also didn't kill him once things had calmed down and we'd cleared the air. Clear the air. Breathe deep. You can still smell it even now. No Now we have to keep all explosive potions sealed up in crates at the depot and hike back there if we need one. Bloody failures. Still can't believe anyone was that stupid. Oh, uh, this is where I meant to drop off the boxes, the sacks of grain, or whatever the fuck it was. It's a ghost of Ettin. I wonder if that's the same Ettin that skeleton is in the other room. Smash! I can take it. Wait. There's no need for us to fight. You stab me with shiny bright bitch. Eat your skulls may well. Rude. I'm not the one who stabbed you. You died long ago. Me dead? Your body is. Spirit Link is here. Any idea why? In battle me drop club. Good club. Made of leg bone. Came from Grandpop. Can't leave without club. Okay, I'll look for your club. If I find it, I'll return it to you here. Agreed? Me want club back. Find the Ettin's club, I should bring it back to his ghost. I wonder if it's in the other room. 
Yeah, the room where we encountered all the other ghosts. Because I, mean, I have a feeling that's that's the S in that. You know, sort of killed them, but also died while doing it. I'm assuming that's what's going on here, since, you know, the others are ghosts. I'm guessing that we have a classic case of ghosts not being happy with each other. And just wanting sweet, sweet vengeance. I know so much vengeance as just, you know, wanted to move on to the, to the great beyond. They're not able to go and see Kelimvor. Because it ain't the Raven Queen. It is done. Yeah, yeah, it is here. The club. He won't club. Club acquired. Club go in there. Your concern, it is done. It magic club though. You must gather your party so it is done. You know <laughs> We could just not bring it back to him, but at the same time no one in the party uses a club. So, we probably should bring it back to him. Let's, let's, let's go have a chat with him. Yeah, Mr. Ghost. Smash! Here, spirit. On the club. Club is back. No, me scare scrawny humans. Oh, for goodness sake. <clears throat> I thought you were in the club so you could move on to the afterlife. Here. Yeah. Me give present to you. Take loincloth. What? Uh, don't really want it. Thank you, though. Please leave it on. We go now. Oh, magic cloak. Take it. That's probably quite heavy. <laughs> but I'm intrigued as to what that does. <gasps> oh, what if, what if it like just does a massive boost to your strength? Like what if that's like an artifact level item? It's just, it's just like, you know, have a permanent strength of 22 or whatever. What the fuck did I just walk into? It's the drow! That's a drider! Oh shit! Even gents! And ladies, of course. Stand your ground. Rain the driders in. Uh-oh. This assault benefits neither of us. I suggest a parley. I suggest you withdraw. Um Hi. <laughs> What's going on here? Why the fuck are you guys fighting? What's going on? These drow attacked us without provocation. We were defending ourselves. We did not come here to battle. But we will not shy away from it. 
we were content to go about our search in peace. This Bungiro surfacer and her blah attacked us. Right? Well, exactly what are you searching for? That's no business of yours, surface dweller. I wonder if you if you play as a drow you, that this goes differently and they're like, oh yes. This is what we look at. Oh, no. <coughs> Excuse me. Look. No. Okay. <sighs> Trying to avoid further bloodshed. If I can find what you seek, will you return from which you came in peace? I will not bargain with a surface dweller. Be gone. I wish only to help you. If you don't tell me what you're looking for, I can't do I can do little for you. What's it you seek here in this place? Do young drow, little more than adolescents, are lost in these tunnels. Bring them back unharmed, and I will spare your life. Oh that's who they were. Ah I think I've already met them. They were headed to the surface. What? Quickly! Shazani! After them! You're welcome. You've helped us out of a tight spot, and no mistake. Those drow would have killed us to a soldier. Here, it's not much. I hope you'll accept this cloak, in fact. Thanks. I appreciate it. Time to head back to the surface. Another magical cloak. That looks very much like a drow cloak. Yes. That looks very much like a powafri. It is done. And here's the thing, powafri are very good so long as you're not going to the surface. Because <laughs> as soon as you get, if you spend a certain amount of time on the surface, the Bawafri becomes no more longer magical. In fact, that's the case with most drow and other underdark inhabitants. Centrical magic items. Halt! Identify yourself! Hello! I come on urgent crusade business. See, I have Kalar's crest. And a lovely crest it is. You still haven't identified yourself. I'm tempted. Because I feel like as soon as I go into that room, I'm just going to get immediately attacked. I'm just a humble crusader. No one important. Return to your post, mercenary. Only those who truly walk in the light are allowed through here. You aren't one of them. The fuck are you to judge me? Let it go. We'll find another way. What was that? It was nothing, ma'am. We'll just be on our way now. <laughs> oh, that's such a stupid idea. <laughs> so Oh, but what if it works? <gasps> that's why the dude who sells the potions is there. Aha! Puzzles are being figured out. The guy who sells the potions is there, so you can buy a potion of fire breath and drop it into the fire. 
Cause that's the answer to the puzzle. Alternatively, I mean, I am assuming that I can take them. Have an idea. Listening. You heard the crusaders at the cook fire talking about what happened when a vial of fire breath potion ended up in the pot. I did. You think we should do something similar? I can think of worse ways for it to use a potion of, a potion of explosion. Oh, do I already have one? I've just been traveling around this sack of this, this random sack of grain in my inventory this whole time. Do I already have one? Oh, I do! I do have a potion of explosions. Oh, this could backfire immensely. Just the name Potions of Explosions. Yes. Yes. That makes me very happy, but also very concerned about how big this kaboom is gonna be. It will explode upon impact. Till 66. It's literally just a fireball. It just casts fireball. Okay, this is a... This is a bad idea. Um, who can tank it? Yes. From Nora can. By cold. Daddy here needs mage armor equip because as soon as I do this, we're gonna aggro the entire place. And we're gonna save again. I am here. Right. It's going to go very poorly, very quickly. This needs impeccable timing. What are you doing? Ah, oh, hells, here we go again. Run! What in the nine hells is going on here? Was that Faris again? I swear on the shiny lady's honor, I'll tear him in half. Oh. Your concern? Certainly. Oh. You must gather your party before venturing forth. I was expecting the entire place to just attack me. <laughs> Well, we're in Dragon Spear, I think. Indeed. Oh. Scroll of Tross, Stone Skin. And a globe of invulnerability. <gasps> Magic weapons. Can I help you at once? Khalid, we have maybe another sword for you to use. And also take take those. Oh, magical scimitar. A lock chest. The magical spear. Interesting. Uh, Jahara, if you could just give the bag of holding to Khalid for just a second. So all those until identified can go in the bag of holding. 
Kind of a random sack of grain. <laughs> Servant to carry so much. I have dropped it. Yes, it is done. You have a name, Mr. Ogre. Go away, dwarf. We don't talk with you. Who are you? Why, you care. Oh. Your slug, Murs, mate. You know Murs. Oh shit! Yeah, I forgot about this. I forgot about how we met a bunch of ogres, and they were like, "Oh, if you find, if you rescue our trapped friends, we'll, you know, fight alongside you against the uh, the people who kidnapped them." I completely forgot about this quest. Cool. Let's get some ogres on side. Uh, yeah. Met her at the, uh, met her at a camp up near the cavern entrance. Able to help, I was able to help her. How's Murs doing? Is she alright? Oh. Let's just say I helped her out of a difficult situation. If Mars trust you, Slug trust you. Let us out. We help. Okay. This is gonna go very badly very quickly. <laughs> Open the gate <laughs> You're a D free <laughs> How are you gonna help me? Nurse, all alone outside. Slug need find her. But first help you. In north end of river caverns is fresh water. Good to drink. On wall next to pool is hiding hole. Ogre treasure there. It will help you kill shiners. <laughs> you have my thanks, Slug. No slug go you secret passage. Get past China guards. Kill them if they get in way. Find Mers and then we kill Shiners. Everyone we can. They take slug away from Mers. Slug takes heads away from bodies. I like this guy. <laughs> I like him. So this is in the northern caverns. Oh no, one of the ogres died. Aww. One of my ogre friends died. I'm guessing that he's talking about in here. Might be there. Could be there. Dim purple glow from deep within this yawning chasm illuminates the cavern wall. Howling winds and distant footsteps can be heard far below. Ooh, very underdoggy. I'm thinking actually it's here. That's a magical flail. You want both. Sword first. I 
am here, certainly. Ah, that's... Now that I have retrieved the promised catch, I should check. Your concern. Hang on. Check on the slope back at the ogre camp above ground. Okay. Indeed. We're going to go deal with him. We're going to go deal with slug. And then that... That might actually take us to the end of the stream. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Don't know. I don't know. I do also have a lot of stuff that needs to be identified and then sold on. So we might also do that. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Uh, okay, camp was this side, wasn't it? Yes. Certainly. What's their deal? Michael and Julian. I'm trying to remember what their deal is. I feel like there might be adventurers. Oh, it's this guy. Should watch for evidence of the Crusades corruption when I enter the underground caverns. Oh, yeah, because it's um, Dinahir's friend, isn't it? Not Dino here, Minsk and um Yeah, no yeah, it is Dino here, yeah, it's um it's uh Minsk and Dino here's people. Hi guys Um, that's yeah, that's great. Um, maybe just try and limit the smash into Crusader heads. Deal? You save me, I save Mars again. Mars says, Mars save me, give you prize as thanks. Long to my family many years. Still don't know what it does. Something magic. Maybe you figure it out. Well, oh, thank you, Slug. Farewell to you both. You have friend now, dwarf. Vaprak watch over you like Ogre. It good thing. I oh, know, I want the cloak. Yes. What does the ring look like? Hmm. Interesting. So, is he gonna help us? Right, when we go to fight the crusade proper, I'm assuming that the ogres are gonna be like, rah! And like, run in at the last minute and save the day. They're cool dudes like that. <laughs> it is no idea. Alright, Telegram, hello. I have many fine wares. Need you to identify some shit for me. Bring a fire resistance. Not bad, not bad. Plus one chain mail. Not bad, not particularly useful to me, but not bad. Major over cold resistance. What does this dagger do? Elements fury, plus two. I'm assuming it deals extra damage to, uh, to elementals. The mage who crafted this strange dagger was obsessed with the four elemental planes and sought to create a means to join them together, opening portals to all of them at once.
Once, he managed to join their energies together to enchant this relic, giving it properties of each plane. Unfortunately, he happened to be standing between the portals, holding the dagger in his hand when the energies converged. They converged on him. It was the Major's apprentice who has discovered the dagger, clutched in the clutched in his master's charred and frozen hands. <laughs> oh, the poor bastard. Oh, it deals an additional 1d4 point of damage to all of the, uh, to, of whatever element they're weak to, to all elementals. And then for normal people, it deals 1d4 plus 2 points of piercing damage, plus 1 fire, cold, or electrical, or acid damage, as uh, society randomly on a roll of a d4, I assume. That's actually kind of cool. <laughs> That's actually kind of cool. The Purification Stone. This smooth silvery grey stone floats in the air around its user's head, untethered by gravity or other earthly concerns. Protecting its user from poison and disease. It can be real. Oh my god, when you equip when you equip it, you are immune to all poison and all disease. That's very good. Cloak of the Strange Beast. What the fuck does this do? This thick pelt can be worn as a cloak by human-sized creatures or a loincloth by larger creatures. The beast that contributed its hide for this item is a mystery. A long slashes in its skin indicate it was stabbed to death with sharp objects. The spider's enchanted nature... The hide still attracts fleas and retains the sweat and odour of its wearer. Ew! Consider how it was being used by a loin as a loincloth. Oh, no! <laughs> as plus one AC, negative one to charisma. Makes sense. This flail, the Hydra, plus two. Three heads of this flail look like dragon heads, given the weapon its fist name. As the wielder swings the weapon, its heads seem to blow and divide into a mass of hydra heads whips at the end of the chain. When the wielder sees attacking, the weapon reverts to its normal appearance. Ooh. It's such a shame that we don't use flails. <laughs> cloak of the Gargoyle, it's another poor offering. Though this dark cloak appears to be made of stone, it is soft and flexible as cloth. When donned, it allows its wearer to assume a statue-like form once per day. These cloaks are often found among Duragar, who first designed them, but occasionally one winds up on the surface. Physical damage resistance plus five, plus five, protects against critical hits, that's cool. And once per day, you can cast stone form, giving you an AC of zero, Plus three to all saving throws, negative three to all dexterity lasts for five turns. Okay. Uh, plus two arrow, arrow of anti magic plus one. And I have a bunch of shit in the bag of holding. <laughs> Father Graham, what these do? Plus one scimitar, plus one spear, uh, plus one long sword. Uh, none of that, none of that compares to what we've already got on him. All right. I have many fine wares. Right. Well, the plus one chain mail can go. Let's give that and then. Oh, and the bear skin as well, I guess. And the green stem ring and the angel skin ring. And all that can go. Go. That dagger's not particularly useful to me because no one in the party uses daggers. That purification stone is really bloody good. I'm keeping that. 
I'll see if that Cloak of the Strange Beast can be used by anyone. No one uses a flail, so the Hydra can go. Which is a shame, because that's quite a cool weapon. <laughs> Um, scimitar, spear, that gem, that ring, that long sword, all that can be sold. None of those because they're all useful. And so on those. Um, can anybody... Use this. Yes, everybody can. Who doesn't need charisma? Bro, no one needs charisma because conversations. And her charisma is already relatively low. Yeah, she already already has a charisma of 10. We're not the particularly most charismatic group. <laughs> Being honest. Everyone's just that little bit of a shitty person. Um, can make Minsk's AC negative two. We can make Bonora's negative four. Which is mental. We can make our leaves negative eight. I kind of want to make our leaves <laughs> negative eight. <laughs> That's ridiculous. That, that is. That's genuinely insane. <laughs> Khalid has a lower name AC than the Tarask. Ah! <laughs> That's mental. Again, the Tarask's AC, I, I want to say, is negative five. It's not that low. Because it's quite easy to hit the Tarask. It's just a real pain in the ass to actually kill it. Uh, it's also you know, the fact that it has a factor of negative five. So, most of the time, it's fucking hitting you. Oh, yeah, the Tarasco only has an AC of negative three. So, yeah, it is very easy to hit. It's just very difficult to kill. <laughs> just takes a, You just have to hit it a lot to actually kill it. Because I believe as well, yeah, because it's, because it has a uh, regeneration in it, and also you have to take it down to negative, um, like, you have to bring it down to, like, negative 30 hit points, and then use a wish spell on it as well. Bear in mind, it also heals, uh, like, 30, I have a, f it heals, like, 50 or something stupid hit points per turn in, in AD&D. Yeah, they nerf the Tarask very heavily. Especially with 5th edition. I think 5th edition has probably the easiest version of the Tarask in it. Ha! My aim is true. Fuck you, bear! <laughs> Stop following me, douche. Not come across any anything in order to end this quest, Keep have they? My distance, my witch trust strangers. I am more cautious. Oh, let's um, let's snooze that ad because I'm actually gonna finish up soon. There we go. There we go. There we go. Right.
Sam Philosophy. I'm sure you. I mean, you know him. They now understand this thing. It is good to see another brother from the East. Minsk has been long in this foreign land where the evil is thick and the people are dying. Agreed. I've been too long away from our city. How long have you been on your uh, Dejemma? Too long. When I left the place of my birth, I looked forward to seeing new lands, meeting new people. I have been gone years now, though, with nearly a glimpse of home. I do know the loneliness of living in strange, smelly lands. Luckily, I have Boo and my witch for company. I have no Boo, whatever creature that may be. But I do have a witch. Oh, yes. I have a witch. Are they fucking? Because I think they're fucking. Well, you and Minsk have much to discuss. It sounds like you have a tale to tell first. Your berserker friend can be no harder to understand than my witch, Julan. She has a unique mind. Dina here too has a mind unlike any other. Her brilliance makes Minsk's brain feel like a hamster's. Boo does not like it when Minsk says so, so I do not say it very loud. I like Minsk. I thought I would learn from my witch that she would guide me as I protected her. But each day is more confusing than the last. Oh, if you think a conversation with Minsk will make it less confusing, now ah, you best think again. I want more than his conversation. I was hoping for his advice. For years I have followed every one of your land's orders, indulged her every whim, even as we roamed further and further from home. Okay. I despair of ever seeing my homeland again. How do you do it, Brother Minsk? How do you endure the random caprices of your wish? Hmm. You should know... Well, I'm afraid you'll get no help from Minsk. He's utterly devoted to Dany here. Are as flighty and irrepressible as my witch. Minsk will follow Dina here to the ends of Toru, though his legs may be very sore. If she sails away, he will follow her. Preferably in the boat, but Minsk can swim. I love him so much. He's the best. I, I see. Then I am truly alone. No, oh, no, 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 no. No, we go. Without you, Julian would be utterly lost. You're the only stable thing in her life. Perhaps thou art correct. I should resign myself to this life. I can have no other. Our talk seems to have depressed Rika. I of old age where they're flying and fall right out of the sky. What? Can't say I've ever thought about it. The truth that I intend to begin thinking about it now. Hmm. I wonder if birds. Hmm. hmm. Your concern. Oh, the sun smiles on thee. It is done. We need to find apparent. Oh yeah, because they're like they've devoted themselves to. Oh. The archers have died. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Fuck them. Anywho, uh, let's go ahead and save. Uh, I'm actually going to finish up here because it is late. I'm going to hit snooze on the on the ad on the stream. There we go. 
There we go. Right. Um, yeah, I'm going to finish up here for tonight because it is late and I have to be up for work in the morning. As per usual. Hate that. Hate that. Hate that. Because I want to keep going. I want to keep going. But, but I will be back with more um, stuff. Not Baldur's Gate. Unfortunately, not Baldur's Gate. Um, we are going to be doing some Final Fantasy VI this week. So on Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday night will be Final Fantasy VI. Um, but also, also I am planning on doing another stream on Thursday during the afternoon is my plan uh, for Thursday. I'm planning on doing a stream in the afternoon. If anything like that changes, I will let you know, but keep an eye on the socials for all the information about that. that is going to be in what's going on with it. But it is, I'm planning for it to be, um, well, depending on what's going on in Final Fantasy VI at that point, I might do Final Fantasy VI. Otherwise, I kind of want to do a long one in Baldur's Gate. Kind of. I'm not certain. Um, I might also do another stream tomorrow with it being Halloween. Um, because there is no real guarantee that um, a usual weekly session of D&D will happen tomorrow. Because of the fact that it's Halloween. Um, so that's all dependent on my on my players, but we're not there able to uh, make it to the session tomorrow. Which I will again I will keep you guys informed on my social media and stuff like that. As to what as to what's going on with that. If there if that is the case Yeah, I might do another Baldur's Gate stream. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Because <laughs> it'll see how you feel. See how you feel. I mean, I might. It, it will scratch the D&D itch that I have on Mondays. Again, keep an eye on the socials for all that. I might just have a quiet night. I might just have a quiet night and just do mini paintings and stuff like that, which I unfortunately can't stream at the moment. Still working on that. Still working on that. I need to get two things for that to be ready. I need something to protect my desk while I'm doing it, and I need some way of actually filming it. Because I have an idea for how to make it work. I do have an idea for how to make it work, I just need to actually be able to make it work. So, yeah, mini streams will come probably in the next year. Next year we'll probably start doing um, mini painting streams and stuff. Though that, yeah, well, I mean, I am planning on doing it at some point in the near future but it's very likely with my timeline of stuff and when I'm planning on taking breaks and stuff over the next couple of weeks and it'll probably be in the new year because for those who don't know I am planning on taking basically all of December off and then because I'm going away for the first week of December and then I'm going to be doing week of streams and then that'll basically be it because I'm taking the week of Christmas because when is Christmas? I mean obviously it's the 25th but what day is that? It is a Sunday! It is a Sunday! I don't know, it depends what I'm doing. 
depends what I'm doing. I might, I might do streams that week then, maybe. But the week after Christmas, so the last week of the year, I am taking off. I'm taking that off, up through New Year's. Um, and then I will be back in the New Year with, uh, hopefully, hopefully next year will be a bit more of a cleaner schedule. Because this has been a mess, hasn't it? Not my fault, not my fault. I've been all a bit busy and you know, I got COVID and all manner of other shit happened to me. <laughs> oh. Bad just holidays. Bad just holidays. This, I, this time of year is always a bit busier for me. And then uh, the summer is usually when I'm able to stream a bit more freely. Actually, am I able to stream the first week of January? I don't think I am. Bear with me, because I am taking a week off in January as well for uh, Rosie's birthday. Check <laughs> on my calendar. I know what my girlfriend's birthday is. <laughs> For the date of my girlfriend's birthday. The last week. Last week. I couldn't remember if it was the first week or the last week. There were two specific dates. But it could have been. But it's the last week. So yeah, last week of January I'll be taking off. As well as the second to last week of March. I do believe. So last week of, uh, in January for uh, I'll be taking off for Rosie's birthday, and the second to last week of March I will also be taking off for my own birthday. And aside from that, um, I mean there will be holidays here and there next year that I have yet to fully plan, but. Aside from that, I, outside of like illnesses and shit, I should be all good. I wasn't planning on taking basically a month off back in April, but COVID fucking kicked my ass. Anywho, shall we find someone to raid? I think we should. Who shall we raid? Who shall we read? Um, has someone live? 
I'm not sure why I will follow with this person because from the sound of it, there is literally zero audio. <laughs> Though I don't know if that's a fault of them or just the stream. I'm just going to think. It might be a fault of the stream. Difficult finding someone to raid. Always live in the various different rooms that we've got. This guy's alive. Any one live currently in the normal affiliate. No. sat seemingly with no clothes on playing the new Call of Duty. And just sat eating a sandwich while the game was very unpleasant. <laughs> it's very unpleasant. Why? 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 Why would you? Why would you? I'm sorry, but that is just unpleasant to watch, even for like a, even for just a minute. Very unpleasant to watch. Um, is there anybody live in the Pokélink Discord? We have... Yes! We have someone who seems to be about to finish... <laughs> we have someone who... Uh, it says Nuzlocke Finale. Uh, they're doing a Nuzlocke or a randomised hardcore Nuzlocke of a Mega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. So... I think we should raid them. <laughs> Raid D R D ones connect. Never watched this person. I've never watched this person, but they're a V streamer, and their avatar's a Moogle. So it's just meant to be. Anywho, anywho. Anywho, thank you everyone for watching, uh, thank you for the bits, thank you for all the new followers who I actually need to rat, rattle off. Everybody's left me. <laughs> I'm waiting for the... Oh, because there was an... Because a fucking ad ran, didn't it? Oh, fuck you, auto automatic ads on Twitch. Oh, I might have to turn that off because that's a right pain in the butt. Anywho, hey, I will catch you guys later. Um, again, might do stream tomorrow, might not. I will let you guys know on the Discord. If not, I will see you on Tuesday for some Final Fantasy VI stuff. Have a good night, guys. Have a good morning, day, whatever the time may be for you. And as always, I will see you later. Ta-ta!